Hey, Shalom, beautiful brothers and sisters. First and foremost, as always, we give all exaltation and glory and praises to our highest power. His name is Yahweh. And his begotten son, his name is Yahweh Shai. All praises and glory is due to our Heavenly Father, our power, our power. Salutations to our sincere brothers pushing his truth week in and week out to feed and to comfort the brothers and sisters who seek Yahweh Basham Yahushai in all sincerity. Shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters, fearing, trusting, and believing in Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. I would like to name this Faith in Sudden Destruction. We have faith that Esau is going down. We do have faith. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. It is going to happen. And we all have faith that Esau is going to go down. And we have faith that it will come upon him suddenly. that sudden destruction. We believe that and we are actually waiting, waiting for our Lord, our power to bring this upon him, upon Edom. So why don't we have that faith that our Lord has got us under his power? Can we surely know for sure, we surely know that yes, this kingdom is coming down, going down. So let's pray for more faith. Because we have it, you know, we have the faith, you know. But we have to continue to pray for more and more and more faith. Let me go to Hebrews 11, verse 6. And all brothers and sisters know this, this verse. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe, must. We must believe this. That he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So we have faith in this. The same way we have faith in we knowing for a fact that Esau is going down. This rulership right now, this generation, in this generation, it is going to go down. This present rulership. And we have faith in that. So we have to have faith that it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe. And we do believe because the things that our power has gotten us out of. Sit back and just meditate and remember the things that you, you've gone through and you've said, you know, Lord, get me out of this. And it happens. It does happen. He has gotten you out. So we have to have faith that the Lord has got us to the end. 
is going to be difficult because we are going to be tried and tested. But remember, our Lord, our power will not forsake us. Ecclesiasticus 2, verse 10 to 14. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord? So when you trusted in the Lord, you're having faith. Ultimate faith in the Lord. You trusted in Him. It's not based on our own carnal flesh. Because our flesh will let you down daily. So in your carnal flesh, we have to let our spirit that is willing, willing and trusting in the Lord our power to deliver us. That is the faith. Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded to be filled ashamed. He would not shame us. He would not put us to shame because we trusted in him, believed in him and served him in all sincerity. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Glory be to Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekar Kodash. Call upon his name. Call upon those names. All right? That is what we live for. We live for Yahweh Basham Yahushai. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful. And forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. Woe to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. We believe in the Lord, we trust in the Lord. All right? So we, have, we are guaranteed that we, he will get us out of it. Therefore shall he not be defended. You see, because if you don't believe in the Lord, you don't trust in him, that's your faith, no faith. We have little faith, but we must beg for more faith. Because the, the Lord, our Paul, wants us to get into the kingdom, you know. He needs us to get into the kingdom, right? He has so many gifts for us, lined up for us. He wants us to get into the kingdom. Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? And you know, again, we have faith. We know that Esau is going down. We have faith in that. We do really believe that. Therefore, we must believe, believe that the Lord is coming back. He's coming back to visit this place. We have to have that faith. Um... The next one is John 7 verse 38. Glory be to Yahweh Basham Yahushai. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly, your mind, your conscience, shall flow rivers of living water. And that's not stagnant water, that is living, live water. Flowing and flowing and flowing. Continuously running and running. And that is what the kingdom of heaven is like. 
forever growing, the universe, the galaxies, that is forever flowing, growing. Come on, man. Faith. I tell you what, faith is a beautiful thing. Once you have that faith, boom, done and dusted. Done and dusted. And the last one I'm going to get now is in Psalms. The book of Psalms, 50, verse uh, 14 to 15. Offer unto Yahweh thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High. That's what we're here for. We are here to pay our vows. Make our body a living sacrifice. Serve him, please him. Have faith, because it's impossible to, to, to please the Lord without faith. And he's so happy with that when we believe in him, trust in him. You see, like I say again, we know for a fact, for 100%, that this kingdom is going down. So why not think and remember that, you know what? You know what? My power has got me. Yahweh Bahasham Yahushaya has got me. Thawada. Verse, let me say it again. Offer unto Yahweh thanksgiving and pay thou vows unto the Most High and call, call, call upon me in the day of trouble and <laughs> Salakia, I'm adding to it Salakia, and call upon me in the day of trouble I praise be to you how Shai I will deliver thee Yahweh Ratisa, that's us who believe in and trust in him and have faith in him and thou shalt be, thou shalt glorify me. Of course. We cannot wait to be delivered. Because our faith is going to be tested. And when you pass that test, that proves to say that you had faith in him. And what is the, the latter part? We will end, we will continue to glorify the Most High. That's what it's all about. Glorifying Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai here on earth and glorifying Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai in heaven, which is going to be on this earth. So let's continue. That's what I'm saying. We have faith. We know Esau's going down. So we must relax and take, let the Lord our power take control of his power. Because his power is going to be manifest unto us. Glory be to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Rekak Wadash. Thawada, Thawada, Kwam Yasharala, Thawada, Barakatha Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Basham Rakakwadash. Aman.